We've got a. Uh, we're going to be going down to the coal mines right now. Uh, we've got Easy Coal and Coal Man entering on either side of the bracket right now. That's uh, so funny. The coal mines. I can't where, believe you said that. <laughs> where, <laughs> I, I was look. I was. I was struggling to figure out something. I was just going to be like, "Hey, it's, it's so uh, two, two, two coals. Uh, it's where so good. Coal, a coal mine. This is I the best know. thing." Um, but uh, yeah, so it's the first set that we're going to be seeing on stream for Winners Round Three. So uh, we'll quickly run through what uh, what's happened up until this point for other. When it's round three sets, we've had Jira taking it 2-1 over Mini, uh, Kanaji taking it 2-1 over, uh, 2-0, sorry, over Iceman, um, Bro1 taking it 2-0 over Personate, Wash taking it 2-0 over Smazio. That's actually pretty big. I feel like that could have been a, I, I assume that would have been an incredibly close set there between the two. Mm -hmm. um, with that, uh, yeah, I mean, Corrin is a character getting a hell of a lot of love um, over the weekend with uh, with Collision um, happening just, uh, you know, just yesterday and the day before. Um, if anyone got to see uh, the set between Shattuck and Cosmos, um, a phenomenal set that actually... Uh, look, I, I don't want to spoil anything, but a phenomenal set between uh, Smash 4's Greatest Corrin and Smash Ultimate's Greatest Corrin. Um, yeah. So a really, really cool set to watch between the two players. I feel like that character is, like, after a long time, they were starving, and, and now they're really eating well, you know? <laughs> like, um, Absolutely. So many, and, and I know MK Leo had whispers of a Corrin as well, um, yet, to see it. yet to see it. Yeah, it's 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 very cool. But uh, yeah, so we've got um, what Sumi and Alistair BL are going to be going up against each other. Easy call coming in with that default hero profile picture. Um, you'd think that was the default. You know, that, that's probably the one that came with his switch. To be honest with you. Um, no, but he loves he loves that hero that that skin that default one eleven. He's a huge fan. Um, something about hero players. I don't know if it's like genetic or. Or like just when you pick up the character, you just have to love the character and Dragon Quest and all of that. Like they're also like obsessed with it, you know. Like like King Kaz as well. You know, he's always posting like you know slime, Pepe slime and stuff, and it's all oh, just geez. man. I honestly like I hate like I no I don't hate hero. I think uh, I think hero players are like a bunch of goons. But I'm so proud that King Kaz is from New South Wales. <laughs> it's just like I think he's, he's a fantastic he's a fantastic character to watch but I think everyone who plays them are just they're all just a bunch of goons in the best way possible okay um, he's just kaboomed and now he has not much mana yeah uh, I mean it's a pretty good reverse ledge trap though I mean you know Coleman was about to zero to death easy call but uh, now now he's at 37% from two hits nice he's found the zoom yeah. <laughs> and he's still alive He's gonna, he's gonna, oh, oh yeah, the bike snipe. Yeah, that's, that's rough, yeah, right? Fun. Hero definitely likes to just go low, and, and, like, even though you have a little bit of control on the swoosh recovery, you don't have a lot. So, you know, often you'll, he will just be recovering from those kind of low positions. Um, the frizz? Yeah, that's gonna do a lot of damage and definitely beat the bike. And oh, wow, okay. Coleman's out okay. of there. Coleman, uh, putting his controller down out of, uh, out of just sheer shock. Yeah, no, sometimes when you get frizz like that, you, you just gotta put it down. Yeah, for sure. I, uh, um, I don't know if anyone saw that replay as well briefly with uh, with that snipe from Coleman, but the fact that the bike was actually thrown from um, from pretty much center stage. Um, this stage is so small. Um, it was still thrown center stage rather from uh, from the platform too. Oh, there we go. We got uh, uh, Nevark in the background set sending it again. Yeah, it was just off to the side of center stage. Um, yeah, that was, that's pretty crazy. It's, like, it's a brawl fest here. It's so small. Mm, I think I'm... Um, <laughs> It would make sense to me if this was Coleman's pick. You know, like, obviously Hero, a character that likes to kind of have a little bit of space to run back, buff up, you know, um, get whatever spells they need to get. Um, even, like, charge up the fireball and stuff as well. Um, yeah, being in close quarters with Hero, especially if you're a character that kind of has good frame data or, um, or can keep up the pressure, can be pretty good. Mm, yeah, for sure. Now, I mean, I think actually on paper, uh, it would have been Easy Cole's pick uh, as what uh, looks like to be the highest seed in the set. Uh, mm. But having said that, uh, I think, you know, when Coleman saw that Easy Cole would have selected it, he's probably rubbing his hands together. He's, he's rubbing his grubby little mitts together, just being like, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> it's worth yeah, time. Exactly. Well, Easy Cole, like, that's the thing, right? You know, you said you find hero players or goons. Easy Cole, he's an enigma. I don't know if. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I think, um, I don't know if you've seen. It's like a common trope in a lot of media where you like give up a part of yourself for like an otherworldly power. You know, like warlocks do it. You know, it happens and like that's what Easy Call's done. 
he's kind of <laughs> give, given up something like his common sense, you know, his regular Smash gameplay, and in exchange, he's gotten this this insane RNG. He's gotten next level reads. Sometimes he can just see the future. He'll just start charging an F Smash behind him, um, and they'll roll into it after seeing him charging the F Smash. Oh like. God. That thwack as well. I mean, look, I'm surprised. Maybe he needs to uh, renew his uh, his devil deal because, uh, unfortunately, the, the thwack not killing at 80. That's actually... Oh, wait, hang on, wait. But where'd, uh, where'd common stock go? Oh, no, sorry. No, of course, he, he looked like he stayed in, in stock one. That's where it went. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, and if you're easy call here, look, you have no mana, but you're chilling. You're, you're happy to just kind of hang around. When you die, remember that you get a full mana refill, you know? You get to... Like, it doesn't matter about fuel prices. You get the full tank. Absolutely. Um, I mean, you do have to die for it, but, you know, I, I think it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Right now, with fuel prices, man, um... <laughs> um yes, not the worst thing in the world. Not the worst thing in the world. I'll, I'll lose a stock for a full tank any day. Anyway, that Kaboom is gonna do it. Oh, Wait, did he try to waft out of the Kaboom? There's no way. Why? Why would he do it? That's that's not real. I'm, I'm not, I, hope, I hope that isn't what I saw. <laughs> I think he. I think he tried to jump out of it. Yeah, and he's, yeah. And he got stuck back in, so it kind of looked like he was starting up waft. Yeah. Um, where he kind of like you know does like a little you know like you know booty bump as well before he gets up there. Yeah. Ugh. What a yeah, what yeah. a cursed kill screen as well. Um, that's um that's pretty wild. Kaboom! Just such an amazing spell. Um, you know you can't you can't escape it. Like run from it all the same. You have to shield it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, but um, but Easy Call obviously that unfortunate Coleman SD there. But like I said, Easy Call sometimes like sometimes you like SD against him game one. You're like, oh, this guy's easy. I can definitely beat him. Um, and then he just starts pulling out like he's in your head. He's got like the brain worms. He's so <laughs> um, he he goes from being like, nah, this guy, you know, he's got no idea what's going on, to being the most galaxy brain player, and he just swaps between those states like a pendulum. Um, oh my god, yeah, just right there, Easy Cole just standing completely still out of that Kakrackle Slash. <laughs> yeah, just getting the grab out of the Kakrackle Slash, like, that's the kind of thing. He'll, like, um, he'll, like, tomahawk you five times in a row, and you'll be like, when is he gonna do an aerial? <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's, um... But, uh, meanwhile as well, I think, uh, I, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to understate, uh, no, it's hard to, let me see. Coleman's advantage state is very good. Mm. Um, is what I'm trying to say here. I'm, uh, my, my words have mixed, unfortunately. I've, I've had a, new, a full day of work, and I'm, I'm, I'm sleepy already. Okay. Um, but, uh, no, honestly, I think Coleman's advantage state, I think once he finds his, uh, his opening and once he gets going, um, is is smothering. And, and I think it really is, uh, you know, emphasized by a character as powerful as Wario, up close and personal, too. Mm. Um, and he's had another crackle. What does he get here? Oh, he went for the con he went for the confirm, like the crackle, Kafriz, but unfortunately um, wasn't able to hit that one. Um... But hey, you know, it's pretty much tied up now, surprisingly. Net up tilt. Um, here are up tilt, oh. another one of the uh, up tilts that probably look like F smash, uh, up smashes. <laughs> um, like, has has great coverage and um, and can kill you. But um, there you go, tied up here. I mean, it's such a, it's such a large move, but uh, meanwhile, the up smash is possibly one of the smallest moves in Heroes Arsenal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, you know, up tilt is everywhere. Go, like... Other side, but um, but yeah, up up smash. You know, if you get that critical hit, then it kills you at fifty. Oh, I love the swoosh combos as well. I don't know if you've seen that, but like the hero, like up B one into smash attack, true combo. Like wow. Oh, it's it's uh, silly. Oh god. All right. Very very nice. I think you might have had a bit more time to react there from the uh from the fact that he was hiding in his bike too. Yeah, the warrior bike just kind of exploded. Maybe he had to get the engine checked. Um. But remember that our Coleman now has the waft pretty much on deck. It's it's going to be re definitely ready for that last stock at this rate, um, and that means that that if you're easy call, you're probably a little bit worried because it doesn't matter how much mana you have or how many spells you've got in your pocket if um, if you get wafted at a low number. Yeah, it's uh, it's pure death. Oh, he's oh, gotten up into on. Wario's mouth. Jeez, almost Coleman dying was, for it too. He's waiting. Lying in wait, a real predator. Now I do wonder whether or not uh, I do wonder whether or not uh, is Accelerattle also increasing your knockback? I believe it is, right? No. So Accelerattle does, however, make Hero a fast faller, which uh, okay. um, which sometimes oh makes God. him feel <laughs> like like he dies quicker. Fifty-six percent out of that uh, that little string there from Coleman. Gorgeous stuff. 
The fact mm. that he still hold on to this stock the, the entire time, that's a, that's a really, really nice... And yeah, that waft. Yeah, punish. Big from Coleman, really big. And Wario kind of twirling up there. I have to say, like, even though you, most players, like, they kill with the start of waft, like, the second half of waft is just such a nice kill screen. Like, like how he just kind of twirls sure. up into the air. Like, kind of graceful, like, grossly graceful in a way. And he's got such a big grin on his face. Like, he's just, he's released that he's happy. Yeah, he's, he's ready for takeoff as well. I love how, I love how like, high he goes. And he's just having the time of his life on the way up. 100%. No, it's it's such a cool move. I, I do kind of like waft. Um, very unique special, especially uh, considering we don't have, like, supers or, like, final smashes in tournaments. You know, it's really cool when a character just has this, like, essentially a final smash. You know, a character <laughs> with a legal final smash. Um yeah, no, absolutely. a unique, unique thing. But here we go, going into game three. I mean, what what better way to kind of have two characters with uh, you know final smashes inbuilt into the kit than than Easy Cole and Coleman displaying them both right here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, no, both both characters that can kill you very early with all sorts of ways. You know, like um, the Easy Cole Kamikaze as well. I know I've seen that come out um, quite a few times in brackets and on stream. Um, oh jeez, he's just. He's a menace. He really is. Um, and we'll see. We'll see oh. if Coleman will be able to to keep up the pressure on this guy. I feel like that's the thing. If you if you get the uh, opportunity to play on stream and you've got a character who can literally just explode and like you know remove your own stock in doing so, like getting rid of your opponent's stock, absolutely you're going to go for it, right? Like you're like, hey, yeah. this one's for the fans. That's, this that's one, what this, it is. This one's for my pet slimes back at home. I think, you know, when you play, like, a lot of these characters, you know, like, the really silly ones, you know, you do just want to get silly on stream. You, yeah. you just you just want to make make everything, make everyone laugh, make everyone cringe. Um, that's, and, your, that's your worst round two streams right there. That's, like, when you are... When you, oh, oh, there we go. There's that crit. That down spot smash. Dodge. Spot um, dodge down smash. Oh, and okay. like the half waft, the quarter waft. No, half waft. I think it would have just been half waft. It probably would have just loaded, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Um, all right, and it's pretty much tied up, but you know what? It's tied up, but it also means that Coleman's going to have a harder time getting that waft again. Um, you know, not having any stored in the tank, um, means that potentially Easy Cole's chilling a little bit. Wow, okay, that Kaboom detonated on the bike, so even though Coleman was above it, the bike caused the explosion to happen and suck him in. Far out. Yeah, I, I like, uh... I actually really like the fact that Coleman went for that half waft there instead, because if he can keep this pressure up, I mean, what was it? About five five minutes, 30 seconds, I think, on the timer from when uh, when half waft came up. So, I mean, mm. he's uh, he's probably, you know, with this sort of pressure, he's probably not too far away from getting it back uh, in the next sort of, you know, like 45 seconds or so. Yeah, exactly. Um, We've just seen the glint from from maybe quarter waft. Um, so, so half waft will be, will be on the way soon. Um, I also like just really liked the uh, like Easy Call's usage of Zapple to deal with Wario on the bike. Like Wario on the bike obviously can be the bane of some players, especially you know. Oh wow! And a nice, nice Zap edge guard as well. Yeah, the, the lightning slap, man. Um, and that also is surprisingly a physical attack. So if you have Psych up on, it will use Psych up and have more knockback. Jesus. That's terrifying. It, it is. It is bizarre that that movie is uh, that move is so disjointed, but it's still not a projectile. Yeah, that's. It's. It's pretty crazy. Okay, and he's just hit that kaswoosh. Um, Easy calls like kind of chilling here, but but no mana in the bank. Okay, trying to even something out there with uh with that bite. And that's definitely, no, he's under, literally Ooh. three. Okay, yeah, there we go. And I guess with every bite that comes through from Coleman as well, we're going to be seeing. Yeah, I think we might have actually just seen a uh, full waft there. Yeah, he's flashing. He's he's flashing brown. Um, what, an, what, yeah, an full awful, waft. what an awful color to flash as well. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Three. Oh, the Capriz. Did he's got the snooze <laughs> and the up smash? Not critting. Unlucky. Unlucky for Easy Cole. Um, or, or very lucky for Coleman. Um, yeah, you I definitely don't want to go out completely that way. shift the game. Yeah, not getting that crit. You know, oh, and he was flickering magic burst there as well. Great platform coverage with Zapple. Yeah, this see. is so scary. Oh, oh he's found no, a kaboom. He's just, he was just he's looking for the skill. That's really hard as well, you know. Uh, 
hard, especially when you're a character like Wario, right? You know, obviously he has such great air movement, such great aerials. Um, you don't like to commit to shielding on the ground, mm. um, but Kaboom and so many of Heroes 